Everyone ready for a story? All right. Now, long ago in Ireland, there was a band of Irish warriors known as the Fianna, and their leader was a man named Fionn Macool. Now, the Fianna, they roamed Ireland, they defended the people, and they had great adventures that are, stories are told about to this very day. But all the days and years that the Fianna roamed Ireland, they only ever went to the Aran Islands once, and this story is why. Now, Fionn and his Fianna were hunting in the mountains of the Aran Islands when suddenly a thick fog fell about them. And they couldn't see where they were going, and they couldn't see where they had come from, and these were the greatest trackers Ireland had ever seen. But through the fog, suddenly, they saw a light, and they made their way towards it, and there, in a window, they saw a candle, and it was the window of a house that was nestled right into the mountain. So Fionn came up to the door and he knocked on it. The door opened and there was an old man. And Fionn said, old man, I am the great Fionn Makul and these are my Fianna. Please let us in so we can sit by your turf fire and take the chill out of our bones that, have, because of, that has happened because of this horrible fog that has fallen about us. And the old man looked at Fionn Makul and he was not impressed. But Fionn continued talking. He said, old man, please, let us into your house. I am the great Fionn Makul. These are my Fianna. Perhaps one day you will tell your grandchildren about how my Fianna and I visited you in your house. At this, the old man smiled. But when the Fianna saw that smile, they could see that it was without warmth and it was without humanity. And it put a chill in their bones that had nothing to do with the fog. But the old man opened the door. And Fionn and his Fianna came inside and they made their, set themselves up by the turf fire and they warmed their hands. And soon there was a, a young lady appeared and she brought them cakes and ale and bread and cheese. And that girl was beautiful. And every man, to the Fianna, every man in the Fianna, they all fell in love with her right away and they began to charm her. They tried to woo her, they tried to seduce that girl and she pushed them all away and she said, you had no time to spend with me when you had me, and now I have no time for you. Even the great Fionn Makul tried to woo that girl, and she pushed, pushed him away, and she said, you had no time to spend with me when you had me, and now I have no time for you. And Fionn found that suspicious, but he said nothing. And the Fionn and the Fiona, they continued to eat and drink by the turf fire and tell each other stories, when suddenly there was a knock at the door, and the girl opened it, and in came a goat. And the goat began to make a nuisance of itself. It would butt its heads into people's legs. It tried to eat the cheese. It tried to drink the ale. And finally the old man said, Ah, I can't believe that girl let that thing in here. Fionn, you are one of the greatest warriors of, of Ireland. Surely you can capture that goat for me, tied up by the turf fire. And Fionn said, Of course. And he tried to capture the goat, but the goat was too fast. It was too wiry, it was too vicious. It got away from Fionn, it got away from every Fianna that tried to capture it, until finally the old man in his frustration reached out with his cane and he caught the goat by the horns, he pulled it close and he tied it up by the turf fire. And when the Fianna saw that, they were alarmed and they came to Fionn and said, this is not possible. How could that old man have succeeded where all of us failed? And Fionn agreed, there was something wrong here. And he turned to the old man and he said, Old man, who is that girl? For every Fianna swore to me that he had never seen her before, and yet she spoke of us as if she knew us. Ah, said the old man, Fionn Makul, that girl is youth. And she spoke truly when she said that none of you ever took the time to appreciate her when you had her. And now she has no time for you, for no man can regain his lost youth. At this, Fionn stood up and he faced the old man. And he said, old man, tell me, what is that goat? <sighs> said the old man, Fionn Makul, that goat is the world. And no man can tame the world. In fact, if any man tries, they only make a greater mess of everything. 
Fionn stood up. Well, Fionn was already standing up. He pulled out his sword and he pointed it at the old man and he said, Old man, who are you? Ah, Fionn Makul, said the old man. I am death. For only death can master the world. And as great as you are and as great as you will be, one day you and I will meet and you will not best me. At this, the Fiona drew their swords and they made to attack the old man, but immediately they all fell asleep. And when they woke up, they found themselves inside of a cave in that mountain. And the girl was gone, the old man was gone, the house was gone, so was the goat. And every Fiona to the man, they picked up their belongings and they left that cave and they got off the Aran Islands as quickly as they could and they never returned. And that is the story of Fionn Makul and the old man.